Good morning and welcome to the Monday recap with Retire on Dividends where we will cover, you know, where we are heading into the week for TSLY, MSTY and CONY and of course the Defiance Funds. So before that, uh, just to let you guys know, this Friday is Good Friday and it's a holiday for the New York Stock Exchange. Um, so here's the holidays that they have this year. Um, Friday, March 29th, obviously a holiday. The next one would be Memorial Day, Juneteenth, Independence Day, Labor Day, etc. So, you know, um, just to let you know, we have four trading days to make money. We got to make our money every week. So um, I was kind of surprised, you know, caught off guard. <clears throat> I didn't know until they, the strikes showed an earlier date, showed the 28th. And I was like, oh, but anyway, today's a holiday. I mean, Friday's a holiday for the uh, New York Stock Exchange. Not for me. <coughs> so, let's get to it. <coughs> Tesla. We have 30,325 contracts with a 172.50 strike. <clears throat> That's barely out of the money. That's 0.98% out of the money. And then we have 11,635 contracts, 175 strike, 2.44% <clears throat> out of the money. <coughs> Apologize for the voice. Anyway, Tesla price is 170.83 and their 30 day IV is 53%. But they, their calls are tight this week. So we need Tesla to go down or stay flat. Um, not much else to cover except capital appreciation wise. We're looking at 22 cents, even if it goes up. So we are overall, we have to be bearish this week as Tesla shareholders. Not as Tesla sh shareholders, but if you own Tesla, this is kind of the you know what you want you know so anyway let's look at pre-market we can close that out um, I was just looking at AMD stock because uh, it looks like China stopped allowing the sale the use of AMD and uh, Intel so but it's only down 2.11 percent so I don't know if that's gonna affect the rest of the stock market uh, by the way, today is FEPI declaration date <clears throat> as we wait for market watch to reload. Uh, Tesla, <clears throat> shocker, it's down on the pre-market, 1.08%. So Tesla's in the red. Tesla's at 168.99. Uh, it's approximately it's like 6 a.m. I'm actually kind of late, you know, making this video. So, <clears throat> but again, that's pre-market. We'll see how it goes. It's kind of what we want for you know as a Tesla shareholder. So let's look at Coney Active. Coney Active, uh, one one uh, strike, fourteen thousand seven hundred and seventy five contracts with a two sixty seven fifty strike. That's four point six nine percent out of the money. So, I mean, that's tight. That's tight for crypto, man. Um, again, that expires four trading days. So. 255 current price, 30 day IV, 85%, 30 day chart looking good. Um, potential capital gains, only $1.31, but still not too bad. Here's our reaction because, you know, based on what we see here, we kind of just need Coney to also stay flat or go down. Obviously, it can go up to like 4% without, you know, but <clears throat> it's a, uh, they must see something that we do not. Although I don't see anything because I don't know anything. I can't predict crypto. Let's, let's just take a look at their pre-market to see how they're doing, if they're right. Uh, not so much. Um, coin is up at the pre-market. 3.42%. Okay. 264.26. Their strike is 267. So they could be essentially capped by the open. Um, but time will tell. I don't know. There's a reason they made these so tight, I assume. Or maybe maybe they hit the wrong button. Never know. All right, let's take a look at Misty. One strike as well. Also crypto-related stock, 188 contracts, 1,800 strike. However, 18% out of the money. So, okay, that's a little more reasonable. If you're going to choose one strike price, 18% out of the money, that's a little better. However, with Misty, I would I would probably <clears throat> still scatter and go out a little further. But anyway, as mentioned, four trading days. MSTR price uh, at the close Friday was fifteen twenty three. Thirty day IV one hundred and thirty nine percent. Potential capital gains for this week six ninety three. 
Misty fund manager, still a nerdy looking guy, still smart, still doing well. You know, you saw last week's calls. They were tight and he got it right. So I'm not going to say much. I mean, 18% is pretty damn good out of, you know, but it's like, it, who knows? I'm done judging these people because they, they get it right a lot. <clears throat> but if they get it wrong, they get it wrong and it hurts. Here we go. MSTR pre-market, it's already up 5.71%. So good luck slowing down crypto. All right, what about Defiance? This time, I'm, I'm not going to go into their one trade for that expires today. Um, because, you know, what's the hell? What's the point, right? It's just one trade for the week. But I just want to show where we're at um, going into <clears throat> going into the week. I believe they declare this week. Um, they declare uh, their distribution this week. So um, let's see where we're at. QQQY, uh, all things considered, they're, they have made only $0.09 cents per share. Not the best. JEPY has made $0.26 cents per share. Not the best, not the worst. And IWMY is the best. They made $0.47 cents per share. So... Again, this includes intrinsic and extrinsic with losses, uh, and they said they're going to pay extrinsic income. So obviously, I don't have that information, but I'll do my best to throw out a guesstimate sometime this week. If you care about Tress, they're not doing good. They're down $1.26 this month. Spy T, they're up $0.28. Cents. Um, but yeah, actually, I put the dates. I think I have the dates somewhere here. Maybe I don't. No, I don't. But they're com they're coming. Yeah, I think they declare this week. So, yeah, that so that's really the update. I mean, on the you know defiance. I'm not going to go through like I said their website and all that. Uh, I did the recap on them yesterday on Sunday. If you want to check any further information on those, um, but um, but yeah, we'll see. Again, I'll uh, I'll shoot out a video for defiance this week. Uh, making my estimate, which again, it's just for fun and entertainment, just like this video. It's not financial advice. Uh, it's just for fun and entertainment. Um, so hopefully you had fun. Hopefully you're entertained. Again, this video is a, just a quick recap that everyone can listen to either on the way to work with their coffee, etc., and so on. I had my coffee. I work from home Mondays, luckily. But um, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, again, it's a four day trading week. So Got to make your moves, you know, let's get them done. Let's make some money this week. Um, and uh, yeah, let me know what you're doing this week for, for uh, are you buying anything? Are you selling anything? Are you pissed off? What are you pissed off about? Let's talk about this. Could be anything. Let's just open the conversation up, right? So anyway, I got to go. Um, you know, obviously my work dates, my work day starts pretty early, probably like most of you. But either way, if you guys enjoy this content, uh, please hit that like button, as always. It helps the channel. Um, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, leave them down below. If you enjoy the monthly recap, let me know. If I should add anything else to the monthly re not monthly recap, Monday recap, uh, let me know. And because it's a pretty quick video, so you know I don't mind squeezing it a little more. You know, maybe like current events, something like that, right? Click Market Watch. What's their current event? The feds are less concerned about inflation, so buy energy stocks, says Morgan Stanley. Okay. They're not concerned about inflation? Well, good for them. You know, they're not in the real world like us buying crap that costs a million dollars. So, anyway. And then, you know, what else? They got U.S. stock shut up 30%, NVIDIA, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so, anyway, that's the current events. There you go. Done. Wham, bam. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching and enjoy your day. Oh, look out for the uh, FEPI declaration. And I'll, also, I'll cover the FEPI holdings because I already did that work through the weekend. Um, but I saw they were declaring today, so I'll, I'll try to get that out at lunch break today. All right, stay tuned for that. And thank you for watching. Later.